it was kept in a sub-basement cavity in an underground labyrinth near a place called Building 82, deep in the heart of a research complex. It was called the Californium Flux Multiplier, or CFX. About the size of a refrigerator, it utilized highly enriched uranium, the stuff nuclear bombs are made of. It wasn't at some arms factory in the old Soviet Union, but at Kodak. That's right, the company that brought us the Instamatic camera and the Kodak moment. Only from Kodak. The walls surrounding it were two feet of, enrich, of enforced concrete. The ceiling over it was, again, two feet of concrete and then eight feet of earth. So it was really a well-shielded instrument. Albert Philo is a scientist who worked with the device for 13 years at Kodak's research lab in Rochester, New York. The CFX was not a nuclear reactor. It produced neutrons that Kodak says were used to test chemicals and products like film for impurities. Kodak operated it for more than 30 years until it was disassembled in 2007. Kodak says it never intended to hide the CFX, but the fact that the company was handling highly enriched uranium was never highly publicized. As soon as you mention nuclear, it sends up red flags and uh, bells and whistles go off and uh, people have a natural aversion to it. So they probably just didn't want to arouse the uh, local neighborhood. Both Philo and a Kodak spokesman say the CFX was safe, that no radiation ever leaked out, that it was never in the concentrated form needed to make a weapon, and that it was well secured. Still, we don't want Iran to have this material, but it's okay for Kodak to have it? Well, if you have enough highly enriched uranium, you can use it to make a nuclear weapon. In smaller quantities, it may be not enough, but you could always imagine uh, an adversary that was coordinated could steal enough in different areas to, to kind of consolidate and have enough for a bomb. Kodak had about three and a half pounds of highly enriched uranium at a time, well under the 45 pounds or so it takes to make a weapon. But a bomb that could severely damage a city doesn't have to be big. The scale is fairly modest. Not too much highly enriched uranium needed for a 10 kiloton bomb, right? It would fit in this one gallon milk jug container. Just That's the all you need, the highly enriched uranium. The, what we call the improvised nuclear device, the IND, would fit in any minivan you see going down the street behind me.